All too often, serious incidents occur when drivers fail to follow proper procedures when it comes to coupling and uncoupling a trailer. Vehicles can roll away, you can end up in serious with the serious injury and even death. So now, it's time to see how we do it properly. Okay, now we've come up to the trailer nice and close. Remember to take your keys out. We're coming down. We are checking that we've got the right height on the trailer to make sure we can get underneath it without causing any damage to the wings. We've checked our trailer. We've got back in the unit. We've got, got our keys in, ready to go backwards. We're gonna lower the suspension off using this control, pressing down to make sure we don't scratch or scrape the wings on the way back. As we go up, as we get underneath that trailer, we'll then raise the suspension. This lifts up the trailer, takes the weight of the trailer, and then we can get into the pin and close the jaws. So now I'm gonna go backwards while pressing down. Take the handbrake off, look, see what we're going, where we're going, back we go, underneath. Just got the trailer, gonna stop the, stop the vehicle, raise the trailer up, and now we can start hooking the drawers. Now we've hooked, legally we have to do our two tugs to make sure we've got the trailer. Again, remember to take your keys with you. Now we've established that the unit is connected to the trailer. First things first is attaching the dog clip. Remember, this is a legal requirement to make sure that the latch on the clip, on the kingpin, is fully secure. Now using the acronym blank, brake, legs, air, number plate, kingpin. That's the procedure for uncoupling a trailer. As we're doing it the opposite way, we're starting off with the kingpin, which we've already done. Now, number plate. Next one, air. Now it's time to attach the Susie lines for the electrics and also the air lines for the air brakes. First of all, we need to get onto the catwalk. Now we are on the backer on the catwalk. It's time to attach the Susie lines and electrics. We get our secondary line, making sure they're not tangled up, which can cause a little bit of issues. Our primary airline, our emergency brakes, our ABS. Next one, L, legs. Simple, pull the handle out, make sure the handle gears are engaged and start winding. We're at the last step. Take the trailer brake off. Simple as this. Okay, we need it all good to go. Just got to do our cab checks. Make sure we're wearing a seatbelt. It's all hooked up and now we're good to go. 